OAN, OMB and APB are straight lines. AN is equal to 2OA, M is the midpoint of OB, OA equals A, OB equals B, AP equals KAB, where K is a scalar quantity. Given that MPN is a straight line, find the value of K. So the first thing we can do is annotate this diagram with the information we've been given in the question. So we've been told that AN is equal to 2OA, and we've also been told that OA is equal to A. So therefore, if OA is equal to A, and AN is equal to 2OA, then this means A to N is equal to 2A, which means the full line OAN is equal to 3A. Next, we've been told that M is the midpoint of OB, and that OB is equal to B. So therefore, if the full length OB is equal to B, and M is the midpoint, then this means O to M will be equal to a half B, and MB will also be equal to a half B. We can also draw in the line MPN. So the first vector we can work out is the line A to B. So the line AB will be equal to negative OA plus OB. And OA is equal to A, so therefore negative OA is equal to negative A. And then OB is equal to B. So the next thing we can do is work out what the line MN will be equal to. So MN will be equal to negative MO plus O to N plus ON. And O to M is a half B, so therefore negative O to M will be negative a half B. And then O to N is equal to 3A. So we've been told that line MPN is a straight line. And one thing we need to know, if two vectors are on the same line, one will be a multiple of the other. So what we're going to want to do for this question is add in another variable. And we can let this variable be equal to x. So because mn and mp are both on the same line, mp will be equal to x multiplied by mn. And we worked out that mn was equal to negative a half b plus 3a. So therefore, mp is equal to x multiplied by negative a half b plus 3a. So the next thing we can do, so the next thing we can do is work out what mp would be equal to in terms of k. So we've been told that ap is equal to kab. So therefore, the route we could take could be m to o, o to a, and then a to p. So therefore, because O to M is equal to a half B, negative O to M will be negative a half B. M to A is equal to A. And then A to P is equal to K multiplied by AB. However, the first thing we did in this question was work out what AB was equal to, which is negative A plus B. So we can substitute this vector into this expression. So now what we've got is we have two different expressions for MP. So what we can do is put these two expressions equal to each other. So the first thing we can do is expand out these brackets. 
So x multiplied by negative a half b is negative a half xb. x multiplied by 3a is 3xa. And then k multiplied by negative a gives us negative ak. And then k multiplied by b gives us kb. So now what we're going to want to do is factorise out a and b on the right hand side of this equation. So first we can factorise out b. So we can factorise b from negative a half b and kb and this will give us k minus a half multiplied by b. And next we can factorise out the a from a minus ak and this gives us 1 minus k multiplied by a. So now what we can do is something called comparing the coefficients. So this involves comparing the coefficients for both the a and the b term and then we'll be able to form a simultaneous equation to work out the value of k. So if we start off with b, negative a half xb is equal to k minus a half b. So therefore negative a half x is equal to k minus a half. And then we can use the same process for the a term. So 3xa is equal to 1 minus ka. So therefore 3x is equal to 1 minus k. So now in order to work out the value of k, we're going to want one of these coefficients to be the same for the x term. So now what we can do is multiply both sides of this equation by negative 6. And this gives us that 3x is equal to negative 6k plus 3. So now what we have is two equations for 3x. So we can put these two equations equal to each other. And this gives us 1 minus k is equal to negative 6k plus 3. So now the final thing we need to do is rearrange this equation to make k the subject in order to get our final answer. And if we rearrange this equation, this gives us that k is equal to 2 over 5. And this is our final answer. Now this question's worth 5 marks. We'll get our first mark for finding AB. We'll get our second mark for finding MN. We'll get our third mark for finding MP. We'll get our fourth mark for putting MN as a multiple of MP. And we'll get our fifth mark for the correct answer.